I'm supposed to get up here every week and, and say some words to motivate the team and, and, and help propel us to victory. But what I've been doing really hasn't been working. How close can we get? Had a game in our hands, taken away from us. We were 93.75% chance favorites to win going into that turn. And we did. Let's be honest. We're actually two two moves away from being three and two this season. We had Rock Slide and Conqueror, we win. We go for Trick Room instead of Tailwind, we win. We don't get Crit, we win. What do we do? Look, I, I'm getting sick of doing this. You know, I, I'm, get, I'm getting sick of preparing well and playing well, and then just it just all falls apart at the end. Now, I'm not blaming anybody but me. I can sit here and blame hacks all I want. I can stand here and blame forces out of my control all I want, but that won't change the fact that we're all in five. That will not change the fact we're Willis. That will not change the fact that we're the worst goddamn team in this league until today. You know, I, I, I'm done. I'm done being this 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 joke. I'm done being this this trash can in the GBA. I, something's got to change. Something has to change. I know I'm good enough. You know I'm good enough. And we know we are good enough to win. And we have no reason, no reason other than our own playing and our own preparation. Nothing else to blame for being 0-5. We have nothing else to blame. It's easy. It's easy to say if it wasn't for that crit, we would have won. It's easy to say, well, luck just wasn't on our side. You know what's not easy? You know what's not easy is picking ourselves up and getting back on that field, knowing that nobody has any faith or confidence in us. You know what's easy? Laying down and accepting the fact that we are this awful team and accepting the fact that this is what we're supposed to be. But you know what's difficult? You know what not everyone else can do? Not everyone else can get back up, get on the playing field, and give it 100%. And that's exactly what we're going to do. My speeches have devolved into, well, if we're going to lose, might as well go down fighting. Fuck that, okay? Fuck that. This, this, this team, this team, this team is a winning team, and we're going to go fucking prove it. If not this week, if not next week, we are going to fucking prove it before this year is done. Now, there are seven games left this season, seven chances to win. We can't win all seven this week, but how about we win one this week, one next week, and five more over the next five weeks? How about we go seven and five, and we shock the whole fucking league? Now let's go make some fucking noise. Internet, good morning. My name is Magnitude. Welcome to GBA Week 6, Season 5 against the Sacramento Sea Kings. I am your coach of the Milwaukee Saws Bucks. And uh, we are 0-5, going up against the 2-3. and three. I, uh, I don't remember the exact record of the... Of the, of the Sacramento Sea Kings. I do believe he is two and three, however. So we are gonna go with that. Oh, he's playing five games. Yeah, two. Okay. I'm done. So uh, my opponent, Hayden, his script, his links in the description below. Check that shit out. My opponent got Germanic, Tanko, Fable, Tornado, Slowbro, Hitmonlee, and Explode. He's got no Porygon, no Mega Sableye. So that is all great news. Now here, I kind of figured, you know, you might want to lead with Hitmonlee or Darmanitan. So. I'm going to do, if you watch my team building video, you know what my plan is. My hair looks atrocious today. Man, this wind is killing me. My um, lead with Mega Gardevoir, and that is the plan. Going to protect on turn one to see what they're going to go for and lock them something new because he's most likely going to lead with a Scar Pokemon. You know, unless he wants to lead with Tornadus. But, eh, you know, he might Scarf that in case he wants to outspeed something that's like maybe a Dragon Dance, Tornado, Dragon Dance Hacker or something. You know, that'd be planned for. Obviously, I'm not bringing Hacker, as you can see that. Here is Mega Gardevoir. I am trying to fix my hair, but who gives a fuck? We got GBA match to watch. He's actually going to go ahead and switch right out. He's been going to Chew Gum. That is going to be his Clefable. Now, uh, I, I, as, you, as you know, my plan here was to protect. And then whatever happened from there kind of just happened from there. And uh, Now, unfortunately for myself, uh, he, he didn't go for a move. So, But he did switch right out of his x so he didn't want to take him. I just go for a substitute thinking, you know what? He might want to be cheeky and Thunder Wave me. And he decided to be cheeky and try to thunder wave me. But I am behind a sub. That's no problem. I'm going to fire off a side track now based on the damage it does. This tells me, yeah, it's 
potentially a 3 of KO. Potentially. We've seen Combine, so uh, I haven't seen item yet, so we'll see. If I see Leftovers, obviously he's Magic Guard. If I see no item, he's probably unaware. He is Magic Guard, which is fantastic, because if I had a Combine, I could use it, but uh, I don't. So, I'm just going to figure, you know what, fuck it, we're going to fire up a Psy Shock, and uh, everyone's going to be merry and joyous and having a great old, great old time inside. Get a crit! It's a crit! It's a crit, which, uh, now... That turns this into a definite 3 of KO now, but based on my damage output, it looks like it might have been a 3 of KO anyway. Uh, it would have been damn near close, damn well close. Uh, but he's, uh, he's got no favor left, and I thought about going for Hyper Voice here in case he wanted a Pentric Switch out, but I figured I'd go for a Psy Shock. Now, we're up 6-5 early. We do not have a good history of going up 6-5 early and still coming away with a win. I'm just going to circumvent this whole hair issue, and we're going to get a beanie on our head. So he's going to go into our Manitan. I'm just gonna protect him. I'm gonna see what Louis gonna lock knows how to do because he's probably, you know, choice in some fashion. He goes for U-turn. I think I can, I can fucking live that. That's, the, I know why I have, I have protect on here. It's to do that. I can fucking make a U-turn all day, and I take a U-turn all day. Now here, I was afraid of him going actually into, uh, into his soundproof X Cloud. So I actually fire off a side shot. It works out better for me because he's persistent, which means he's probably. Probably assault vest, and it's gonna do a shitload of damage, and it does. And now I, I just gotta switch. I don't care if he goes for, you know, uh, I want to see a U turn. It's gonna go right into my answer for this, and that is going to be Heatran. He's gonna hurricane me and miss. Luck. Yes. So he's gonna switch, and I'm actually gonna pr predict that. And as he goes into Paul, I am just gonna go for a nice fat substitute all day. Now he can't. Uh, I mean, he could scald me, I suppose. But uh, I might not break the sub because I'm. Um, I probably will. But uh, you know, I'm kind of bulky. But I have a sub, and I can freely just go for a nice old, good old-fashioned dark pulse, and that's gonna do just about half, and that's gonna be fantastic. And I flinch him. Luck is on our side, boys. Let's not blow this shit. We've got a hurricane, miss a crit, and a flinch in the first like five turns. Holy cannoli! Luck's on our side today, boys. But we gotta slow down. We gotta just kill it. And then we took out his slow bro, so now we're up six to four. Things are going our way. They're definitely going our way. You know, unless there's some sort of catastrophic meltdown that occurs, there's you know, it's gonna be tough for us to blow this one. So Heatran has got a sub, and it, you know, that's awesome. He goes back in X-Pod. I, I addressed this in the team building video. He's gonna force him to go for a boom burst. And I'm just gonna be able to get a flash cannon off. I outspeed him, which means he's definitely choice specs. That's good to know. Fire off a, that does about half. He goes for the boom burst, and I said my sub's up. It's fine. It's he's, it's forcing him to go for a boom burst over a uh, over a focus blast. But uh, boom burst can still break the sub, so that all that stuff didn't matter as he has a um, move pop on break it. He's gonna actually just flat out switch. He just got some damage on his next part. He's gonna go into browse on leak. It's gonna be his Armana Tam. I'm not really sure why he made that move. Uh, I just, I guess he thought I was going to go for a fire move, but I don't have a fire move, so. Uh, it's in a flash cannon, he's going to resist that. I think I actually mentioned that, uh, in the, my team building video that it's neutral to man's hand. I don't know what the fuck I was smoking during that video, but that's clearly not true. He's going to Earthquake me. I, yeah, I've seen Earthquake, which is fine. Uh, now I know he's locked into Earthquake, and I'm going to be able to fire off yet one other, and, uh, you know, another flash cannon. Or actually, I'm going to fire off a Dark Pulse this time, because, you know, it's, or flash cannon, because it's going to do more, it's, it's stab, and it's, maybe I get the, you know, drop, it's fine. And, uh, so, I, you know, I don't get any after effects, that's fine, I've gotten enough this game as it is, so. Now, I know he's, uh, uh but he also knows he's Scarf, but uh, he's also gonna switch out, actually, so. He is gonna predict my switch, he's gonna go to Kung Fu, he's gonna go predict my switch, I believe in a, either Mesprit, but it has to be Mesprit, or maybe a little Mola, but either way, probably Mesprit, and, uh, I just kind of fire, go into R-Truth, the Mesprit. Got the dreads. He goes for a fake out, and that's okay. He's getting normal gems. So now we know uh, if he wants to see, he's pretty much, you know, set himself on that. That that's that does nothing. That's awesome. He's pretty much set himself on staying in, or else he's gonna lose the unburden boost, and my whole team's gonna outspeed him. So now uh, I'm not gonna outspeed him only, but but he is gonna knock off, and that's okay. I'm gonna leave that. And uh, now I know exactly Mesprit's role, and that Mesprit's role gonna go ahead and paralyze this hit monthly, so it's not gonna cause me any problems going forward. And I'm just gonna get stealth rocks up. Uh, I. I want more damage on the Demanitan on the way in, and I want more damage on that uh, Tornadus, especially. 
because he's got a regenerator, I don't want him to, you know, freely switch in and out. I want him to take some damage on the way back. So, he does not get fully paralyzed. That would have been asking the luck god for, like, a little too much. But I'm not a big fan of playing with the ball, so I'm not going to go all out when, you know, sucking the luck gods. Kids watch this. So, I just fire off a side shot. He's paralyzed. I, I thought for a moment he might have Sucker Punch, but, uh... I figure, you know what, well, I'm just going to go for it, and uh, he doesn't. So, uh, Gardevoir has taken out uh, the Hitmonlee. I wish I could have paralyzed this thing, that would have been nice. But taking 25% isn't that bad. So, uh, Mega Gardevoir, hey, going to go for Tech. See, I, I figure at this point he actually might be choiced, and I'm going to uh, see what he does. He goes for a Hurricane. So now I know, you know, we have Heatran. We've done this move before. We've seen it played out. We go into action this time. Actually, going to Grassy Know, I figure, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to completely sacrifice Shaman, but he misses another one! I'm going to sacrifice Shaman in its entirety, uh, that way I'm able to get in a little moment and I can uh, immediately threaten things out. So, I go for a Seed Floor and I find out here, uh, he's a definitely, definitely a Salt Vest with that amount of damage. Which means, if he opts to go for a U-turn, that doesn't make a difference. Uh, if he opts to go for a U-turn here, to, actually that makes a lot of difference because it Force him to go over U-turn, which as, as you know, as you know, I can live this shit. So, I brought in Shaman originally just to sacrifice, and it turns out I have threatened out this, threatened out the, the Tornadus, and uh, he's going to go into x Plow because he wants to get Darmanitan in safely, and uh, I am just going to go ahead and fire off a wee little Dazzling Gleam. I didn't want to miss Seed Flare, so I figured I was getting a lot of good luck, and I didn't want to play with that. Uh, I am going to outspeed him because he is definitely not a uh, choice. Now, here I could have gone for Protect to get a little more um, a little more HP. But, I decide, you know what? Because yeah, I would have forced him to go into Tornadus and Hurricane and maybe miss. And then I could have kind of Protected all together. But, like I said, Shaman originally came in as fodder. So, I get a little Mola in. Because once I had a little Mola in, I was going to immediately threaten whatever he had with a knockoff. Uh, and that is just definitely something I wanted to do with this. But now he brings our man's hand, and uh, I go for attack just again. He gets some HP back. I figure, you know what? If he goes, I want to see what he goes for. It was worth switching out, but uh, it's not. Um, sorry. Uh, so let me go back to the other point there. Uh, to get a little more, immediately threaten now ending the knockoff, or just immediately go into Heatran and threaten the Tornadus as well. So I had two options, but Shaman was here just as a. Because Himali's dead, he has no Breed Room, so it was a sacrifice. So. Dramatan is going to take out the Shaman, but he's leaves him at minus one, and that leaves him in Rose O'Donnell. Right there. So, uh, now there's a legitimate concern here. I actually go for a Wish, uh, because he's going to do damage to me. I'm going to Wish, and in the turn I kill him, I'm going to get all of my HP back. I'm going to get max HP to take on that Tornadus. Now, that Tornadus being a Salt Vest actually is a huge help for me, because it means he has absolutely no options for recovery whatsoever. So, once he comes in, it's going to be me just... You know, hope you know, live in hits. Now, theoretically, he could just keep firing off hurricanes, getting me perpetually confused, and hit myself, hit myself in confusion. But he goes into Tornadus, and what? Is, how do we? How do the luck gods repay me? How about? How about? How about Rosie O'Donnell? That's a crit burn. Oh, Hayden, I I feel bad. I do. I do feel bad because I. Just did you dirty, and I'm, this is, video is gonna be on YouPorn. I'm gonna figure out a way to do that, and it's gonna be up there. Uh, so if you watch this on YouPorn, that's hilarious. If you watch this far, YouTube.com/slash Magnitude M4G and I2 number two D E M4G and I2 D E. Uh, he gets the confusion, but that doesn't even make a difference because the skull applied is gonna kill the Tornadus. And in typical Steve fashion, even when I win, I don't even get the finishing move. This is gonna, he's gonna go down here, and Darmantan's gonna come in, and uh, he's gonna die to rocks, and that's how I'm gonna win the game. So, denied a kill by Elomola, and, uh, but, that is how that happens. That is a, finally, the wins have come back to Milwaukee, and the Celtics are 1-5, headed into the three, two-week break. I'll see you guys in 2016 against the Real Murillo.